Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Let's look at today's top medical news. Study suggests lung fibrosis reversal using body's natural healing process. A recent study from a team led by Sean Fortier, MD, and Mark Peter Golden, MD, of the Division of Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine at University of Michigan Medical School uncovered a pathway used during normal wound healing that has the potential to reverse idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis (IPF). The most common type of lung fibrosis, scarring of the lung, is idiopathic, meaning of unknown cause. It is a chronic and progressive lung disease characterized by the gradual scarring and stiffening. of lung tissue the process by which lung injury either leads to healing or fibrosis relies in part on what happens to cell called fibroblast which forms connective tissues during injury or illness fibroblasts are activated becoming myofibroblast that forms scar tissues by secreting collagen when the job is done these fibroblasts must be deactivated or de-differentiated to go back to their quiet state or undergo program cell death and be cleared Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess the depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. In the study using a mouse model, researchers stimulated IPF by administering bleomycin, a chemotherapy agent that causes cell injury, and confirmed that the resulting lung scarring resolved itself over the span of about six weeks. By genetically eliminating MKP1 in fibroblast of mice after establishing lung injury, the team saw that fibrosis continued uncontrolled. They also performed several additional studies using CRISPR techniques. This is a major distinction between normal wound healing and fibrosis. That is the persistence of activated myofibroblast. The deactivation is controlled by molecular breaks. The study examined one of those breaks called the MKP1, which the team found was expressed at lower levels in fibroblast from patients with IPF. We argued by contradiction. When you knock out this break, fibrosis that would otherwise naturally disappear persists, and therefore MKP1 is necessary for spontaneous resolution of fibrosis. That's totally in keeping with the fact that they do slow the progression, but they don't halt a reverse disease," said Fortier. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.